Hello you guys, and welcome to this playthrough of Dishonored. For this series, I'm going to whisper. So, let's go ahead and get started. Dishonored. As you can see, I have already played previous to this. I think this time around, I'm going to try and go through a low chaos run, and within that, I'm going to try to alert the least amount of people as possible. I'm also going to try to not kill anyone if I don't have to. So let's get started. someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spy Master was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home and bring good news. Red Nathan River. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Cast off line. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. will be waiting for your news, Corvo. Fair voyage, sir. If 
fewer ships moving along the river now, with the plague and all. Welcome back, Lord Protector. There he is. Good voyage, sir. Did nothing. Interesting. Her Majesty is waiting in the pavilion. The Spymaster is with her, but she'll want to see you right away. You're back! Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. Do you have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Okay, go on. Or, I'm sorry, Emily, but I have to see your mother. Okay, go on, of course. Okay, here we go. Am I rude? While you were gone, Mother seemed very sad. I think she missed you. The Lord Spy Master is with her, but she's said to show you right in. Did you see any monsters while traveling to the other isles? My nanny says the big ocean's full of them. But I think she only says that to scare me. Let's see if you're still good at this. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. Stealth. Press a circle to enter stealth mode. Then stay behind cover to break line of sight. With enemies and avoid detection. While sneaking, your footsteps are muffled. It's like a tutorial section, basically. Let's go! Come on! Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. Wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. <laughs> Take me with you on a trip one day, please. You saw my improvements to the waterlock. It was a fool's errand, Corvo. The plague comes from inside us. We must all strengthen our faith. I overseer, I must ask you to hold your pose. She'll see you at once. It's been good traveling with you, Corvo. Good guy. Hello, my lord. They're sick people. 
not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo. That boy needs some Two sunlight. days early. Full of surprises, as usual. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. me Captain, what news have you brought? You should leave them alone. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! Combat. Press R2 to attack with your right hand, or L2 to attack with your left hand if you have a weapon or power. Press and hold R1 to block incoming sword attacks. Perfect timing will put the enemies off balance and open them up to lethal counterattack. Get behind me! Oh gosh. Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Corvo! Uh, 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 Mommy! Uh, get away! Corvo! Corvo... It's all coming apart. Fine. Find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one. You'll know what to do. Won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. That's my daughter, you bitch. Sign the confession, and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. 
And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this. Even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time. And someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corvo. And you wish it wasn't. Bring him back to his cell. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. Ah, oh, we like friends. What does that say? Belong here. I never did nothing. Santa she Catherine lied. The one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter, Emily. You're out. Good for you. Cut some throats. Social event in high might. Come see the noble Lord Protector. Hey, headshot. kill a guard for me, will you? As bad as us, bad Let me out. Right. I've got three days before they cut my head off. I get all the kids. Assassinations and non lethal takedowns. With a sword in hand. Assassinate an unaware enemy by pressing R2 or approach an unaware enemy from behind and hold R1 to perform a non-lethal takedown. Using stealth and non-lethal approach has benefits. Fewer rats and weepers. Some people react favorably and the final outcome is not as dark. Attention! The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. You should Escort pay. through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice.
Okay, so that's two bodies. <laughs> Unless accompanied by an officer of the watch, escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Trials of Aptitude, excerpt from a book on the esoteric practices of the Abbey. Once a child shows the proper inclination, he is marked. Overseers are assigned to study the subject. Sir Tempish, uh, Sir Tempish, I cannot say that word. In order to determine whether this inclination is supported by cosmological conditions and other signs ongoing. At the end of the cycle, 
those befitting further testing are removed from their houses some hours before dawn and must begin the march to an outpost outside the city. There, the children undergo ritual preparation and evaluation until the last night of the month of rain, when they make a pilgrimage to White Cliff. During an elaborate ceremony, it is determined which of the children will become overseers, overseers, and which must be put down. Corvo's unconscious again. Though he's taken more punishment than the two men we brought in for interrogation. When he wakes, we'll start again. Having him sign the confession for her murder isn't critical, but it might be useful to us later. The assassination of an empress is not a trivial matter. Well, all right. must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Shut up. Maybe wind or something.
not kill. Access wheel, restore health. Escape to Goldridge Prison with the help of hidden allies. If you reach the Winhaven River, they promise to aid you in your next move. We are in Dunwall sewers. How many people did he kill on his way out of the prison? I guess if you kill the Empress, you don't care about a few guards. Shut up. I'm sorry. Corvo, if you're reading this, it means our plan worked and you've broken free from Goldridge. One of our contacts has hidden weapons for you somewhere deeper in the sewers. Grab the gear and find Samuel, where these tunnels dump into the river. He will bring you to us. A friend who will meet you soon. Somebody's been down here. Bottle Street gang, maybe. Watch for booby traps. Could be some down here by the look of it. Good. Yep. If we're lucky, one of them will get Corvo. Wow. So let's just try to paint those two. journal. Amanda and I only had enough coin to buy half the elixir we needed. Even that's all gone now, and there's nothing to do but wait. We're very sick, and there's no place above to hide from the city watch. They're breaking into houses all over our district, so we'll stay here and share the last hours together. Our fire will keep the rats away, but they'll inherit this city. Signed, thing.
supposed to load the bodies into carts headed to the flooded district? Yeah, screw that. That's too far. I don't want to catch the flag. No. Doesn't the elixir prevent it? Maybe. Either way, I'm just jump them down there. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped. Several brave officers of the state are dead by his hand. He is to be captured or killed at any cost.
whiskey, got it. If you want your share, you'll sort it out. If not, I'll come back for it next month. Look into your whiskey. Won't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take him out alone. What if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you're done. Knock something over if you can. You bastard. What's that? Smells like a dead leaper in here. Samuel, and I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here. I can still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. All right, old man, let's go. This is the Hound Pits pub, closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're Jesus. right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of 
course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. I'll take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. I like that. Even after... We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Stay alert, and stay loyal. Nice. My, you must be Corvo. I am Lydia, at your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. When they told me who it was, well, I thought you'd be older, like the Admiral. Well, okay. The Shadow on Bitterleaf, excerpt from a longer work of fiction. Finding my way by the feeble light of the dying fire, I saw her working. A large needle moved in her head following precise esoteric patterns, knots and loops of stream, stream stress, craft from ancient days. Beneath her needle, his body clenched and shuddered, shaking the wooden table. The morbid fascination pushed me closer, until she turned her blank face towards me, resting the needle in his flesh with a refined tone. She addressed me. So you are the lover, I presume. You too have been unfaithful, and it is now your turn to be mended. Okay, yikes. River traffic. Excerpt from a travel journal of a whaler in his final years. A Gaffer's Tale, Volume 2, A Gaffer's Final Passage. After more than a quarter of a century, I am done with whaling broken to continue. I've seen all the corners of the aisles and made more coin than most men see in a lifetime. But it's all gone. I lived through an emperor and watched his daughter take the throne. Fair young empress she was, but slain so young. Everything beautiful comes to die. I've eaten in every port of the known world and sailed in the loneliest waters you could imagine. I've seen the cliffs around Bandesia. Even the best of it doesn't give me an ounce of joy. The years come back across my dreams as a line of putrid bodies, long, sleek, and singing among the waves under the moonlight, only to be speared by ugly, weathered, scarred men who'd knife 
each other for a good pair of boots. Each year I had less time to come up. My tongue forgot the language of small chatter and those who lived in the cities thought me odd. My sister Nina hardly ever knew what to say to me during our visits. When she lost her business to the Lord Regent's crooked barrister, I was a hundred miles east of Morley, gaff hand frozen from the sleep we tracked the first bull or whale we'd seen in months. I helped her as much as I could, but Nina died in the early days of the plague. None of it mattered. If I'm jaded and bitter, it's because this industry has taken away my dreams. The world has been forbidden free. from landing in the distillery district. It's Due to depressing in here. Contact, violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. Excerpt from a book of sea shanties sung by sailors. What will we do with the drunken whaler? What will we do with the drunken whaler? What will we do with the drunken whaler? Early in the morning, feed him to the hungry rats for dinner. Feed him to the hungry rats for dinner. Feed him to the hungry rats for dinner. Gaffer's Tale, Volume 2. I think I've read this already. Yeah, I definitely have. Havelock Log Entry 1. It has been days since our men were dispatched to stash weapons for Corvo in the old sewer. They have not returned, so I can only hope that they succeeded in getting the packages delivered. Pierros in considerable time and resources making those things. If I could find a way to mass produce them, the Dunwall army would secure its place as the dominant force on the globe. But back to Corvo, can he actually break out of Coldridge? And if so, will he make his way here? I personally give him odds of one in five. Log entry one four. Seems we've moved to a new phase. Martin's improvisations have borne fruit. The former bodyguard has been freed is en route to the staging location. Pendleton's voting block and my military connections. All we've lacked is the ability to project lethal force in a controlled manner against a previously inaccessible... Ah, to the point, we need a man who can kill the bastards for us. 
Corvo is more than capable of that, I have no doubt. End ball. Is this off? Switch. Switch, where the hell is the... I like that it seems sort of realistic, like the character dialogues. Excerpt from a book on naval history. While each of the Isles have some form of naval fleet, none is more envied than that of Crystal, with its long, proud history of great ships and the admirals who commanded them. Boys come of age in the cities of Crystal, hoping to someday captain such a ship, and family dynasties are made by those captains who track down infamous pirates or crush Sidious uprisings. As during the Mori Morley insurrection. In times of war and peace, Crystal continues to innovate at sea. The ship designs of Anton Sokolov himself now represent the highest standard in the whaling trade, allowing crews to haul their kill up over deck and begin their butchery and processing. Even as the ship returns to Dunwall, the crews can see be seen working whale as the ship moves slowly up the wind river oh gosh wind haven river coming to dock with one of the powerful warehouse companies such as the greaves whaling house suspended in the rigging overhead and backlit by the setting sun the silhouette of one of those creatures makes a moving sight as it cruises to its final resting place in the industrial Tale, Volume 1, excerpt from Travel Journal of a Young Whaler, A Gaffer's Tale, Volume 1, or A Gaffer's Early Adventures. My sister Nina and I left Tevia together, saying goodbye to our aunt, the woman who had raised us since childhood, leaving behind our home city of Yarrow and the gold, but beautiful white landscapes we had always known boarded a ship for Dunwall. Our parents had left us with a sizable inheritance, and we spent half of this getting to the capital city and establishing a small import shop dedicated to Tyrian furs. As a Tyrian, <laughs> Divian furs. Once I'd helped Nina establish the business, I was free to pursue my dream. Signing on with a whaling ship was the most exciting thing I've ever done. And I saw it as a means to an end. Someday I would captain my own crew and eventually own a fleet of similar vessels. With tears in her eyes, Nina kissed me farewell and I did not see her again for many months. As an apprentice to the gaffer, I got to see the tracking and killing of the great beasts up close. Nothing had ever fired my spirit so as the wind and boring waves racing after a wound.